Welcome. This is a quick overview of how to use the new label recognition functionality built into the Seller Tracker mobile apps. We've designed it to be easy to use so you can quickly look up more information on a wine without having to type in the name and also visually track what you've been drinking for later reference. So let's get started. Anywhere you see a search box with buttons above it, you can tap the label button to start a search. As always, you can continue to use the barcode button to scan UPCs and seller tracker barcodes. I've got a nice bottle of Tattinger Champagne in front of me, so let's look at more details on it. All you have to do is center the label within the viewfinder, make sure it's in focus, and snap a picture. Once that looks good, you can use the photo to send it to us to process the search. Now in the background, we're matching this to a wine in our database. And it comes back with an exact match. Now if for some reason we didn't get that right, you see at the top, there's a bar which allows you to see other options and vintages. If the vintage was wrong, you can select another vintage. Or if the search was wrong completely, you can select an alternate from the list. For example, let's do Champagne Tanger. And this will give us another set of results from which you can choose the correct one. Every label search you perform is saved for later reference. The new My Label Searches view contains your label search history and is accessible from both the mobile apps and the full website. You can easily get there by pulling out the right panel and selecting My Label Searches. Let's take a look. The goal here is to map every label search to a specific wine. Sometimes that happens automatically, as in our Tattinger bottle, but sometimes it doesn't. Wines that have been mapped will show as linked to the specific wine, and you can use the wine glass button to quickly access shortcuts for that particular wine. Now, if a bottle has been mapped incorrectly, just tap on the search text to reinitiate a new search. So for example, in the Tattinger example, I'm going to tap on the Champagne Tattinger text, not the name of the wine, and that's going to reinitiate a new search. I can look at my other options and say this first one here really is the best match. I'm going to tap that. It's going to map it to this new wine and then I can go back to my label search view. We can also map unmapped wines. So these are wines that show up in the list with the red map button. These are ones that haven't yet been mapped to a specific wine in the seller tracker database and you can perform additional searches to find the right one. So let's see how that works for this bottle of Burgundy. Now first thing, I'm going to double check the label. This is Domaine Lafouge, not Benjamin Leroux. So let's see what our other options are. None of these really look great, so I'm actually just going to search by name. And let's see what comes up. I think it's this one. We'll pick the right vintage, map it to the wine, and return to my label searches. And now you see that this bottle is properly mapped to the correct wine. The last feature we want to show is called Quick Capture, and it's designed to be used when you're tasting lots of different wines and want to remember what they were. It's only accessible from the My Label Searches page. And the big difference between this and the normal label search is that with Quick Capture, the searches happen in the background, allowing you to easily come back later to review results. Let's give it a shot. So, center my wine, get it in focus, and snap a picture. The other unique thing about Quick Capture mode is that you can attach short private notes on the wine to the capture. This could be a tasting note or a reminder of where you had it. When you go back to review your captures later, you can easily turn these notes into tasting notes with just a single tap. Now, if you want to continue capturing more wines, you just tap Next. If you're done capturing, you can click Done. Let's capture a few more. If you don't want to leave any notes, you can just leave that box empty and press one of the buttons. And once we're done, you'll see the page will refresh, and you can see all of these label searches are still in progress. 
You can hit the refresh button here to refresh the results. And once the results are in, you can either perform the mapping, update the mapping if it already found the correct result, and once it's mapped, you can create a tasting note. So let's go ahead and map the Laughing Pig Rosé. This uh, vintage is actually 2014, so I'm going to pick the right vintage. And then I'm just going to go back to my label searches. Now that it's mapped, you can see here a Create Tasting Note link right next to my note. If I click that, it takes me right to the page where I can add a tasting note on the Big Table Farm Laughing Pig Rosé, and it's pre-populated those notes with my private note. So I can go ahead and edit this as necessary and save the note. Everything's mapped up, and now I can actually go to the full website under Advanced Search, and I can all see the same My Label Searches view with all the pictures of the label captures, the private notes, and all the mapped wines. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions, you can reach us at support at sellertracker.com.